Hi, welcome to Artistry Documentation. In this video, I will show you that how to design a PL sheet. So, those who have no ideas about the PL sheet, this is called the profit and loss account for the banking system. And this is the first time come this concept in before uh, the first world war 19 sorry 1896 so here you can see uh, the order hours like how many hours you are working the serial number which is recognized the special id for the database and the service type and the average cost cpas odp at cost and profit the cps is cost per hour and odp is order price like all time the average hours working hours is not included so that's why the selected hours price is odp order price like at cost this is the advertisement costing comes under the deduction of the total profit and now after the deduction of ad costing the profit comes out from this data sheet so here you can see some special uh, so here you can see some special feature for this counting Here our average hours is 4000 hours. So according to the price, everyone can order on average the 1000 hours. So 3000 hours, 4000 hours, 3400 hours. Like every uh, working order hours has an a special ID that is called serial ID and which is included inside the database. So here you can see the service type watch hours and now come to the average cost of the service hours like here i will count the subtotal of the average cost column and this is the subtotal 109 is the summation and i have selected the column Now I am selecting the currency here you can see the $60 is the average costing for the 4000 hours okay so this is not the actual price of the ordered hours uh, the ordered hours price is the ODP which is calculated on the separate column and I will use the separate calculation for this ODP now come to the CPAs which is included the average cost per hour here the average costing is the column 4 and divided by 4000 is the CPAs like this is the average minimum cost per hour and this way I am entering inside the all the column because of its calculation easy calculation in this way i will uh, show you some different function and different calculation different articles i will come with uh, this tutorial under this tutorial and one by one is coming according to the excel sheet and in my next uh, video, you will get some information about the student data sheet. And one by one, I will come up with the extraordinary features of the Excel. Now the calculation of ODP. The calculation of ODP represents the ordered price. Here you can see the 3000 hours. So 3000 hours into cpas like average cost per hour so you will get the odp that order price 
and this calculation I am entering in all the column. First four column is recognized under the price. That's why the value has come. And when I have filled up all the column, then this zero should be transferred uh, by the actual number. Now come to the add costing. Here also we are selecting the submission of the ODP like averaged ordered price which is useful for our calculation about profit. This is the add costing. The add costing is based on the separation and every company used to calculate the average ad costing and the average earning per ad cost. So here I have just uh, deduct the ad cost from the ODP and get the profit and count the profit. And I will try to show you some extraordinary feature about the calculation um, which is come under the single column only single column uh, that should be compress your file size and it will be important for the database work Now we are counting the profit that ODP minus ad cost like column 6 to column 7 deduction. So okay, uh, here you can see the $45 minus 7 is equals to $38. In this way, we are calculating the every column value. Now we just entered the data for the ordered hours and every calculation is come in front of your eyes. So here you can see uh, we are entering the ad costing for the particular order and after that we will enter the ordered hours and get the actual result. So after the ad costing addition, uh, now we are entering the ordered hours. Here you can see for 4,500 hours is $67 and 1,000 hours is $15. So this way the calculation comes out. So thanks for watching my video and in this tutorial you have get some special knowledge about the Excel sheet and I will give you some more extraordinary features of the excel and please if you like this video share and subscribe my channel